Hey, we're here at the Rock Point RV Park just outside of Gold Hill, Oregon. Going to be here for a couple of weeks. Thought maybe you might want to take a little tour. Let's take a look. All right, well, it's travel day again. And it's a short travel day. We have an entire 13 miles to our next destination. But, as I've said before, it's the same work. We have to put everything away inside the coach. We have to put the slides in. We have to take care of the water, the septic. We have to hook up to the truck. And because it's only 13 miles, we have to sit around at this campsite and push it to its limit, which checkout is at noon. And typically we are on the road rolling by nine. So that's hard for me, not so hard for Diane. Check in out at our new campground isn't until one. So uh, we've already talked to them. The checkout's at 11 o'clock over there. They have no issue us coming in a little bit early. So we're gonna putz around. Um, we, we left the uh, Southern Oregon RV Park in Central Point after a two week stay, which is our limit. And either the video is already posted or you will see the video. I think it's already posted by now. And we're gonna go to Rock Point RV Point. <laughs> Rock Point RV Park in Gold Hill. Like I said, 13 miles down the road. And we're gonna hang out there two weeks before we head on over to Central Oregon. So uh, ride along with us. All right, so we're not gonna do a full-blown travel day video like we have in the past because it's just a matter of leaving the RV park, coming down here, jumping on the freeway, driving 10, 12 miles, getting off the freeway and into the park. So we will show you the exit of the of this park, Southern Oregon RV Park. We will show you the entrance to the uh, Rock Point RV Park. And then we're gonna tie in the campground review in this same video. Headed north, you'll see off the right hand side is a frontage road, you'll see the expo coming up on the right hand side, and then through the trees you will see the campground that we just left on the right hand side, and we will pick up again when we get to our next destination. Alright, so you're headed northbound on I-5, you're going to take exit 43 right here, take off to the right. Obviously, if you're going southbound, you're going to cross back over the freeway here when you take your exit. We're going to come to this stop sign, and we are going to hang another right, and then we're going to prepare to hang a left. right here. And the campground is really just right up around the corner. The people from the right do not stop. The people from the left do stop. So keep that in mind. Here we go, just past this fence is the entrance. So check in here is not until one o'clock, but I think we're gonna be okay. Check out at 11, so hopefully we're all right. I'm gonna pull up here and that should be our envelope hanging right there on that uh, doorway. That's what they said they do. Nobody, well, this is Sunday, we're traveling. Nobody's here on a Sunday, so I'm gonna get that envelope and we're gonna head to our site. All right, so they left the envelope on the door with all of our information, passwords, and all that good stuff. Can we have her? No, I'm just gonna come with you. And uh, we are in site 17. And because it's 12 o'clock and checkout's at 11, we're just gonna take a gamble that they're gone. If they aren't, we will just circle around and find us a place to park and hang out.
So our last campground, Southern Oregon RV Park, was pretty close to the freeway. But this one is actually a little closer to the freeway, so that's all right. We will deal with that. I think that was our site right there. We just passed by. Oh, that's our site to the left. We just passed by that one. That's our, that's our site. It is empty, so we're in good shape. There you go, we're in 17 right there. There you go, we're in 17. And that must right be the there. camp post. Hi. We're going right here with 17. Okay. Is that good? How you doing? Hi, welcome. Thank you. Our sites are nice and wide, so if you just park right in the center of it. Right. So your slides don't go out over the grass so I can't mow and everything. All right. And you have a nice patio. Perfect. So just uh, be good. Thank you for coming and joining us. Oh, yeah. And my wife will see you in the morning to settle up. So when you come off the freeway, you're going to come up this road here. You're going to turn it into the park. And you're going to come right up here and you're going to park on the left hand side of the barn right there and then go in the office and check in and right here is site number one there's site number two we'll jump on the bike and take you the rest of the way around the park all right here we go site number two site number three all pull throughs over here site number four site five site six and site seven. And across here you have site eight and site nine. And there's the overpass you can see from the freeway that there's an RV going up the off ramp right there. There are a couple, one, one site over there, I'm not sure what it is. I guess it's site number 10, kind of an awkward little place. And there's the drain field for the septic, site number 11. Now we came in, we parked up next to the barn of course, and we came in this direction here. Come up through here and follow this road around the loop. Now you'll see the front side of all these campsites. And then there you'll see our rig right there with the Ram and the New Horizons. Nice sight. We're just going to make a loop around here for you. There's site 20. And there's 21 and there's 22 nice big wide turn out here so no problems whatsoever navigating around this park and there you'll see 19 18 and we're in site 17 right there. Let's see our yard. We'll do a little walk around. There's 16, 15, site 14. I apologize for the wind. Site 13 and site 12. And then when we leave, we will just pull straight out of our site down there this road and exit right down there where the gates are closed and then if we take you down toward the exit gate I'll show you some of these back ends over here so the first one over here is going to be 23 and then this will be 24 25 26 27 
28 and then 29 right here and there's the exit gate and if you come around the corner here you'll see that there is the garbage and they also sell propane right there now we'll spin around and go back up and show you those back ends on the other side let's spin around here Notice these uh, D4 and D6 and things here on the on the uh, in the parking lot. They had a little uh, vendor event here. So they had a bunch of tents set up and local vendors were set up on Saturday, and they had a little uh, craft fair going on. All right, here's the exit gate. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. Here's site 30. There's site 31. Site 32. Site 33, 34, 35, and then 36 right there at the end. And then you'll see us right up there again with the new horizon. And again, I apologize for that wind noise. Okay, let's take a real quick look at our site. So this is a pull-through site. So we went down that road, around the corner, and pulled in. Nice wide road, you can't get much easier. Nice grassy area, okay separation between uh, RVs, at least you have some grass, that is nice. You'll notice I had plenty of room to unhook the truck and pull forward and not be in the road, all kinds of room there. Now one thing to keep in mind when you check in, they want to make sure that your slides do not go out over the grass so that they can mow, and they make sure and uh, mention that to you. They have a nice patio right here be nice if they put a table if they had a picnic table would be a nice feature um, also because they didn't want anything on the grass or over the grass we had to make sure we pulled forward far enough for our steps to be on the concrete and that'll come into play here in just a minute for us now let's go around to the back now Diane's car is in getting service this morning so it's not here but you'll notice not only enough room up front for our truck but ample room back here for Diane's car. So big, long sights. Now look at this. Look where our septic is. So again, because we had to pull forward to keep our steps off the grass, we used 40 foot, yes, 40 foot of sewer hose to reach our sewer connection back here. So keep that in mind, depending on what rig you're traveling in. And then up here we have our, our water connection and power. And again, plenty of room to park the truck. And yes, we kept off the off of the grass over here too. So it's a nice site. Nice big site, nice long site. Nice views of the mountains up the front. Mountain views off to the side. Can't really see them from inside the coach because of a neighbor. But uh, yeah, nice sights. All right, well, hopefully we didn't tire you out on our long travel day. And if we did, I'm sorry and maybe you got a chance to take a nap a little bit later. So we're getting ready to finish up our two week stay here. Um, we enjoyed our stay. As you saw, it's a nice long site. We had a little bit of grass separation between the neighbors. The owners of the park and, and the uh, camp hosts are extremely friendly, willing to help you with anything. Um, it was nice that they had a little craft fair out in the parking lot one day. They have a a coffee shop inside the office which I didn't get a chance to show you um, there are no there's no laundry here so keep that in mind there are no public bathrooms here so keep that in mind so you have to go to town to do your laundry you have to shower and use your own bathrooms in your rig if you stay here um, what else good Verizon good utilities no trees to interfere with satellite nothing like that probably the only downside to this park would be how close it is to freeway um, we stayed in Parks close to a freeway before, but this is about as close as you can get. And if you if you're a sound sleeper, no problem at all. If you're a light sleeper, it might bother you, even though the freeway calms down at nighttime. If you want to be outside all the time and have and hold conversations, that can be challenging at times. But for us, we were out running errands. We were here just taking care of business for the most part. So we were gone all the time. It didn't really matter to us. It was a great spot for us to hang out. 
We would stay here again if we come back to the area, no problem whatsoever. Uh, what else? You can wash your rigs here. There's something that's a plus for RV parks nowadays. They let you wash your rigs, biodegradable soaps, of course, things like that, but that's hard to find anymore, a place to let you clean your rigs. So that's a huge plus. Uh, no campfires, nothing like that, which is fine by us. Anyway, we enjoyed our stay. And how about you? Did you enjoy the ride along and the campground review? If you did, how about giving us a thumbs up? Maybe hit that subscribe button down below. Leave us a comment. All those things help us out, help our channel grow. It shows YouTube that people are watching us. It helps our algorithms, right? So anyway, consider all those things. We really do appreciate it. We try to put some effort into these videos and hopefully help some people out along the way. That's it. As always, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.